so I'm going to show you how to get life sign set up in Ableton Live. So if you already have it in the VST um, components folder, that's what you're going to need, uh, specifically the VST for uh, Ableton. So what we're going to want to do, I have a, just a new Ableton session open, go to live and then preferences. Then we're going to want to go to your file folder tab here in the preferences. Um, first thing you'll want to do is make sure that your VST uh, plugin custom folder is set up. So you might want to hit browse there and navigate to the correct place. Um, I've already done that and you can watch our video on installing um, LifeSign, which will show you exactly where that should be. Um, then you want to also make sure that your uh, VST plugin system folders are set up right here. And then the most important part is hit rescan. There's a lot of people looking for that plugin and then they forgot to hit rescan and plugins not showing because you never hit rescan. So what we need uh, as far as setting it up is we just need an audio track right here. I'm going to get rid of these two mini tracks. You just need an audio track. And what we're going to do is we're going to do the master audio. Uh, so the audio two, we're going to send to external out and we're going to select external out 13. I've already set that up um, for the play audio 12. Uh, so I've went to configure and then output and I've set up 13, 14 as model channels. Um, you can set up as stereo. It doesn't really matter as long as the life sign is going to 13. Uh, 14 isn't heard anyway on the PA 12. So as far as getting the life sign plugin in, you're going to click on plugins over here. And then we have to go under VST. So normally this is collapse So VST. We're going to want to go local and then Scroll down until you find the life sign right here and just drag it onto your audio track. And you can see the life sign plugin right here, setting 440 hertz tone. So if you uh, drag it in before you set up the outputs, you're going to hear that tone uh, coming out of your master out, which might be a little irritating, but could also be good for EQing a room. Um, so that's all, that's as simple as it is. As soon as you set that up, you should see flashing on the scene light on the front of your PA-12 as it's armed and ready for failover mode.